You like Trump? Good girl. You like Biden? Okay, I think we're done with it, I think. Look it over and let's see. So, I put a new switch in it, one of the uh, HP 1200 uh, SVAs. So, that's in there. He was having an issue with the... Uh, it was having noise in a receive. You could turn it on, but uh, I mean, it could have been two things. It could have been the power supply. It could have been the the relays. Not uh, he said you could click it and it would come back. So that don't really sound like the uh, switcher. So I pulled the relays out. I put the relays in it and. Uh, just done away with uh, the power supply because I don't know some of them have noise in them some of them don't so that's out new relays new key up circuit uh, bison is new the bison they had on it was a 47 ohm sandball resistor and uh, a 5820 I think <coughs> Yeah, 5820. I got a 5822. And a 10 ohm. You could use a 12. Even a 15, but not no 47. See, 47 ohm. And uh, my bias voltage should be 3.5 volts or so. So. I added another relay. What was in that was a three pole relay. <clears throat> I don't see it. I got some I got some junk up here on the table, I don't see it, but Here's one here, but it ain't the same one. So you can isolate uh, this center pole. So there's three poles in there. So you got one pole, two pole, and three pole. Normally we just isolate the center one. You can actually work the amp off these two. Or you can work it off these two. Or you can work it off these two. It puts you shorten bar across the... Uh, from there to there, there to there, uh, still gonna do the same thing, but uh, and then the other one left over, you can uh, click, connect power to here, and then when the relays click, it sends power to the bison circuit, and you don't have to have this extra relay, but uh, you can do it either way. On this one, I used the extra relay because these relays was just too big to get back out and have any room. Sometimes it's a room issue. But, uh, I mean, I like the way this little amp is. It's in a little small full pill cabinet. And it's a, you know, like, you could put 2879s in it. But, uh, new tuning cap, new wire, run the, uh, hot in the ground over, the hot's run back over here, it was run back out and around over there. Uh, new wire here to the switch, and it's switch now, uh, I don't know why I didn't have the other one like that. This switch now turns the power supply on up here. 
the wires run back, the switch turns the power supply on. So it turns that on. When that comes on, power feeds up through this LED and turns this LED on. There. So when you got power to the board, the LED comes on. It's simple. You turn it off, it goes off. When you got power, you got LED. Simple. <coughs> and, uh, I mean, I've changed as least as possible, but he's, they got three-way switches in it. Like, down does nothing, center does nothing, it's neutral, and then up is on. Maybe that's all I had. This one, down does nothing, center does nothing, but up, you actually come go out of standby. So that's the sideband delay right there. And she works really good to, to be what it is. I mean, it's got way more power supply than it actually needs. It's 75 amps on 110 volt. So you got way more than what it needs to do this. It's only going to take about at the most 20 amps. Just 2454, I mean 1446s. Should do 300 watts. And I think that's what it was doing before. But anyways, I done a block off plate back there. Uh, it had a big old gaping hole over there. I think I showed that. And it had a gaping hole over here. So I took some of that modeling, uh, that foam you could take apart in layers and stuff but I took that and pushed up it side there so but that'll hold um, the air's got to flow through the heat sink and it's going to do it now got a nice block off plate there it's blocked off over here in the corner and uh, yeah so that's done. Like I said, it's wired all up now. It's all this does is go straight to the power supply on the back and plugs it in like you plug it in uh, one of the cords out the back of it. It ain't nothing to it, but that is fused. It's got a fuse in it there. So I left that and I turn it on by the front <clears throat> up here. That's all it's doing is turning that on and off. So that's cutting a little shortened bar to that and turn it on. Comes on. So it's pretty simple. Plugged up. I hadn't fooled with any of the tuning. Now that cap in the back is a 150 where it was a 120. That's all this difference. That's all this cap I've changed in it. So this is a talk through. Oh, look at that meter. Oh, it barely, barely, barely moves. Turn it on. Oh. Need to work on an input tune. Oh. So 300 watts. Reflect power. Oh. Yep. The input too needs to be played around with a little bit. Got 33 puff on it.
This is a cap, it come out of it's 20 puff. Add 20 puffs, see if you got battle wars. Got battle. Thunder of white. Just the shadow up underneath a white. That's a 40 puff. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Isn't that same thing without it?
looks a lot better. <coughs> it's raining outside. Them sinus is bad. So you're gonna put two nails, a thousand watt suck over here, a 50 in reverse, uh, back from Antenna, uh, five watt right there. So, hello, just a little over half a watt. Hello, and gained about maybe 25 on the top end. Take this out. 500 watt slug in. So you're reading that middle scale. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So if you put a 500 watt scale, a 500 watt slug in, you read the five section. You put a thousand in, you read the hundred section. Or ten thousand, you read the hundred section. Uh, all the hundreds like it, like five thousand. You read the five, the twenty-five hundred. You read the twenty-five, the five watt. You read the you know five, the twenty-five watt. You read the top. This is so on, so on, so on. And even a, like a one watt slug, you read uh, word one hundred set, and you take off zeros. So it goes either way. All right. So on this one short of dead 300. But that D bird slug, they're tight compared to the coaxial dynamic. So it's showing about two balls over on a thousand watts, so two little balls past 300, so it'd be like 340. But every slug's different. But there you go. Tune the input, new, put a new bias folks down. Let's check that. You remember the bias was dropping down to hardly nothing. Just hook it up to a ground source, bottom of that. So, right here on this side. When this relay engages it and sends power to here, you got 15.4 volts. And I'll be on his side after the the sandball resistor is absorbing the, the the heat, the diode's showing at the ground. The this is taking everything but uh, whatever's left over from that diode not pulling that down. Uh, it's this what's left over. The uh, point three thirty, hello, and drops down to point three nine. So if you can see that, hello, three eight, uh, three one eight, three eighteen. So there you go. The two pill is fixed. I'm not sure who built it. The only syndicate of anything on it is that he could have put that on there himself. I don't know. But uh, let's uh.
Yeah, it's pulling some way out of it. And you can't hear it, I can't see it, but sideband delay is working. <clears throat> I can't see it and I can't hear it, but uh, the way I've come overcome that is uh, because I'm about freaking deaf. I'll take a LED and uh, watch the LED. So this is without sideband. This is with sideband delay. So you see the difference? So. And these little relays here, they closed out, you can't see them move. And they, uh, you can barely feel them switch. But you can hear Believe it or not, I can hear that. I mean, I hear them clicking in, but not clicking out, so. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you that with a light bulb of the LED. To us, it can't hear. So, there you go. I want to say this is, it looks like a Model T, so. Mr. Model T. I've heard of somebody that builds them, but I thought he was out of uh, Illinois or somewhere. I've had one person to tell me about them. So, I don't know. Alright, there you go. Later. That, surely you know how this works. Power. It's got a little bit of a delay in it. Standby. Sideband delay. That goes this off. It's not going to have delay. It's in standby. Works. Fun little box to work on. So, it was a little t time consuming to get everything out of it. Put it back, but I think I put back everything that, uh, that uh, would be causing you issue. I don't see it having any more problems with that. So, all right then. Uh, the bias was dropping down way too low. Uh, way too low. So, whoever built this, uh, the diode you used would be fine. That one with a, about a 15 to 20 ohm would probably be better, but that 47 is just overkill. I mean, for HGs, if you want to do this for the, I think the 5820 for Toshiba's at a 
10 or 12, 15 on of work on uh, Toshiba's. So, all right, later.